guys, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Welcome to this video. We're gonna start off today with a little grocery haul. I was carrying in the groceries while Matt just watched me. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what we got at the uh, grocery store. We just went to Sprouts. So we got a few things here. This isn't like a full blown grocery haul. It's just some things to add into the week. I'm gonna show you guys actually my meal prep. I'm starting a new program today as of Monday. I'm calling it the 90 Days of Consistency Challenge. So I have an ebook that's titled 90 Days of Consistency and it's basically saying give it 90 days just of being consistent, just improving from where you were before and your body and your mentality and your health will change. With everything going on, my workouts and my nutrition have all kind of gone out the door. So I'm start as of today, I'm starting with just consistency again. So tracking my food intake, um, being aware of my macronutrients, my protein, my carbs, my fats, and getting all of my workouts in. I'm also gonna be doing some cardio. So I will be posting updates as far as my programming goes on my fitness Instagram. So that's at Blueberry Fitness in case you guys are interested in following along. I'll be posting like physique updates and meals and things of that sort. And then for everybody that's in the challenge, basically you get my workouts and the ebook and you just join me for this 90 days. And I'm posting in my private Facebook group that's only open to my clients and people that are doing the challenge. So if you're interested in that, just send me an email. All the information is below. Yeah, these are our groceries that we picked up today. So this is my favorite, favorite type of milk, I guess, or nut milk, whatever you want to call these, uh, the unsweetened cashew milk, 25 calories per cup, so it's very, very high volume, amazing as a coffee creamer. I love it so much. The soy milk is for Matt, because I'm going to start making him some more smoothies, green protein smoothies, so I got him some vanilla soy milk. These, I've never tried either of these before, actually. The Walden Farms brand, they have a lot of calorie-free syrups and sauces and I don't like to add a lot of extra calories in syrup or sauce form so I'm gonna try out the strawberry syrup and this is I'll probably add this to oatmeal things of that sort and then the honey Dijon is for salads these flat out wraps delicious and they have nine grams of protein as well as eight grams of fiber so if you ever have any trouble hitting your daily fiber intake these are great ways to get them in whole grain products Power greens, lots of iron. Get some apples, chia seeds. I'm gonna start doing chia seed pudding. These enlightened sweet cinnamon broad beans. So a nice little crunchy snack. Protein, fiber. Also got some of these veggie chicken nuggets. And of course it's chicken because there's no animals harmed. Garbanzo beans, black beans, marinara sauce. I'm gonna make some protein pasta with some pasta I already have spinach pesto sausages and this diet alfredo cheesy mac which is what are you doing huh? what are you doing yeah, <laughs> i was painting over to show you the mac and cheese that i got and then you're like dead on the couch yeah. <laughs> are you doing okay i'm all right oh poor baby and say hi <laughs> i'm gonna put all these groceries away come from? I guess if we were to watch the weather we would probably know, huh? Yeah, right. We're gonna do that. But I'm just going to assume that it's going to rain all of the time now. Yeah. But the last three days that we've had severe thunderstorm warnings. The hammocks are swinging. Mm. Here, wait. Let me see this. Look at that. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> he got his uh, little sutures taken out today. That's why it's so red. All those dots. I'm trying to get this leg to bend like this leg. Fuck. Both at 90 degrees. If that's 90, I don't know. Yeah, but this is painful. But you're supposed to be doing that, right? Yeah. Okay, now rest a bit. <sighs> Why is this so much harder than the butt clinches? Because you don't have metal plates in your butt. You don't have one to steal. <laughs> <laughs> you walked in. You crutched into that one. Oh, good one. <laughs> Alright guys, this is just a really, really simple meal prep. So, I have this protein pasta. Which is really good. This is an azuki bean spaghetti. And we've got... 
24 carbs with 12 fiber and 21 protein per serving. There's four servings in the box, so divided it up into four. And today I'm just having the pasta with sauce. These are different, I mean, three other meals, and I've got uh, some air fried tofu, and I seasoned it with paprika, salt, and onion powder. And then another meal are um, some greens, so just some spinach with that honey mustard um, dressing and these little chicken strips and some asparagus. Another meal we've got some more greens with the dressing, tofu, and green beans. So nice and simple and it didn't really take me that long. So these are all my meals. That guy is going to eat this and this with the sausage, some more tacos with beans and cheese. So he eats very, very simply. Very healthy. Mm, uh huh. <laughs> hey, it's better than what you used to do. Slightly better. Um, so this is the meal prep that I put together. What did we get today? A poop trolley. We got a poop trolley. <laughs> <laughs> trolley or poop. Yeah, but what happened to digging the, the hole for the, the uh, tubers? We just found it to be easier to do this thing. Because we needed it either way. Oh, right. And that reason. Because you're about six months out from being able to dig anything. Yeah, so. Unless you can <laughs> oh, hold yeah. it that long. That too. <laughs> yeah. um, so I'm going to show you guys what we got. The uh, Toten store, we call it a, a poop trolley. So we ended up getting one off of Amazon, and this is 32 gallon. So it's, I mean, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be, so I'm going to unbox it right now. Are you going into Narnia? <laughs> <laughs> what is that for? That goes on the, yeah, you're getting closer. Yep, that's where it goes. Blair, try again. You're all, I think you're almost there. No. 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 You had it a second ago. Go back to the other side. Now stick it through the hole so, no. Now put it down. Huh? Now start putting it down. Ta da! What? And then that part hooks on the hitch. That's stupid. Hopefully. So that's going to make dumping our black water a bit easier at the moment. We are obviously not going to be doing the whole trench uh, that we had previously discussed for obvious reasons, but I'm pretty excited about the hoop trolley. Kind of excited, not really excited about it using it because I know that I'm going to be the one that has to do it for a while. <laughs> Brady! Hey, Brady, what are you doing? Oh. You carry your coffee? No. Crap. I just realized everything I have to carry. <laughs> Carrying my backpack. Oh, you are? Yeah. I thought you asked me to carry it. No, no, I'm handing my backpack. Were they all? Uh, were all your friends surprised with how good you are with your crutches? I don't know. I didn't do a lot of moving. Matt went to a networking meeting this morning. Got to go to his office Those and conquer really steep, the stairs. Steps. You ready? Yeah, a lot of stairs. Yeah, I, I think I can do it. You wanted to come. So, are you, how can I help? I don't like this. I don't, uh, I guess I just make sure you don't fall down. Doing pretty good. <laughs> Means go. Mm-hmm. All right, so, went to the doctor yesterday. Uh, got my sutures out. I don't know what, I guess that's what that means. It was more like this. So they said everything looks good. This leg still does not look like this leg, which I guess is normal because they said it is. I uh, found out some more things about it. They apparently put some more bone in where the break is and they said it's going to compact and then heal and then look gray in the, uh, the x-ray. And once that happens, that's when I can actually walk on it. And they said it's about three months away probably. Two to three months and then I should be back on my feet. I am currently back on my foot so I'm actually getting around. Um, I started driving again. Uh, it's not terribly difficult and actually it's helping my knee because apparently I'm supposed to be bending more. In fact the doctor really got after that 
just <laughs> a little bit too as well. He's he kind of with it. Yeah, I, I was like, how far should I be bending it, or like, or should I be taking it careful? And he just—that's, I guess, an invitation to come and grab my leg and move it in certain ways, um, which I have not been in that much pain since the day after the surgery, probably. But just for a little moment, it was just a small moment. So, but it also let me know that I should be working on my knee a little bit more. Uh, not doing this should be actually straightening it out, and the alternate, which is bending it more. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun couple weeks coming up. Um, I have some PT starting this week, really. Um, I have two per week. Uh, that should help me start getting some mobility, and then once I get more mobility, after that, I should be able to start walking, and then I can probably take it from there. The dogs are just being weird. Our dog, weird, weird. What is it? <coughs> What's it, Brady? What? That's pretty much it for the doctor. I got up a flight of stairs to go to my office for the first time. So I all saw that. I guess I have nothing to show you. Nothing else for me to give you at this time. I did uh, change my angle in my leg uh, from 60 degrees to 90 degrees. I'm only at 40 degrees. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with 90. I can't, I can't get to 90. This is 90. I can't do that. I can't even do that right now. Do what? Like this, I'm probably like here, and that's like, I'm like shaking. In fact, I'll give you a little, little show. <laughs> Boom! That's my bend. Well, you But the can. fact that I can do that right now is yeah. pretty crazy, because that used to kill me. Being able to just lift my leg, I can lift it straight up now. Wiggle my toes while I'm up there. That's uh... That's progress. Yeah, that hurts a lot. It's Trying only to hold been it a couple straight. weeks though. Yeah, it's only been two weeks. Since the surgery. Yeah. You're doing good. So, so what's me, next for the RV life? Staying put for now. The RV is. We're going to move around a bit. Uh, locally. Um, maybe we'll do some like local adventures. You know, see what I can get into. I'd like to be able to get my leg wet. I don't know, but I'm not going to know that for a month. If I can get my leg immersed in water. Because if I can do that, then... I don't know. Do some kayaking. Do some tubing. Tubers. <laughs> Tubers. Yeah. But in three months... Actually, hopefully less, hopefully two months um, is when I can start actually putting some weight on it. As soon as I can get some weight on it, then we can actually start up our RV life again. Well, I mean, not. we're technically in the RV life still. Yeah, I mean, this is it. But the traveling. But the actual traveling, like moving to other places, which, I mean, that's what y'all want to see. That's what I want to see. I want to see myself in a different place. Got a phone call? Got a phone call. Cool. Well, that's all for now, and uh, hope y'all have fun out there. <laughs> Real quick, I wanted to ask you guys what y'all want to see um, on the channel right now while we're in one place. Make sure and comment below this video and let us know what other kind of videos you guys want to see regarding the RV life while we're in one place and while Matt has uh, his bum leg, is what I like to call it. Thank you guys for watching. We love y'all and we will see y'all on Friday.